Hello! If you or your child is thinking about participating in a research project relating to cystic fibrosis, you may have a lot of questions. In this short video, we will explain the informed consent process and why it is important. First, what is informed consent? Before a participant can take part in a research study, obtaining informed consent is required. Through the informed consent process, as a potential participant, you will be given important information about a research study. It often happens that you receive a consent form from a clinician or a researcher that you quickly scan through and sign. This is understandable since consent forms are sometimes very long, complex, and use very big medical or scientific terms. Maybe you felt overwhelmed or rushed into making a decision, or you didn't know who to ask when you had questions. If you have participated in other research projects before, it is possible that you don't remember how many projects you signed up for. The consent process is not only about obtaining a signature, it is about researchers taking the time to provide you with the information necessary so that you can make an informed decision to participate in a research study. This should include providing information on all risks and potential benefits associated with the research. As this video goes through the informed consent process, there are two important things to remember. Your consent is voluntary, and you are allowed to change your mind at any time. It is always your choice to participate in research. So, how does the informed consent process work? Let's break it up into three phases. 1. Gathering information. 2. Weighing options. And 3 making a decision. Step one, gathering information, asking questions. The first step is to gather information about the study you are interested in. Who can help you? The research team is there to give you all the information that you need to better understand the study. This includes the study's purpose, risks, and benefits. Ask them questions. If you like, Ask questions about the study with your doctor, your family members, or even your friends. So, your discussion with the research team should not be rushed and should allow time to answer all of your questions. The consent form. Now that you know who to ask for information, where can you find it yourself? All of the information you need to decide will be found in a consent form. It can be online or in person, but it is important to read it and keep a copy for yourself. These forms can be overwhelming and filled with language you may not understand. That's okay. Remember that the researchers are there to clarify it all, so you are sure of your choice. Also, if you prefer the consent form in another language, ask for a translated version or an interpreter. Once you have gathered all the information about the study, it is time to weigh your options is this study right for you? Here are some things to consider when deciding to participate in a study. Balance the risks and benefits. For example, what are the potential risks to your privacy given that your DNA samples are stored and shared? Are you okay with the idea that the research study may benefit science and future CF patients, but may not have any personal benefit for you? Make sure you are clear on how participating can personally affect you. If you are a parent, you must weigh these questions according to what is best for your child and for your family. Lastly, think about if you have the time to participate. Studies can be lengthy and require multiple tests and visits. Make sure you know you can commit to the duration and obligations of the study before deciding to enroll. Making a decision. Once you have had all your questions answered about the study and weighed all the considerations, it is time to ask the question, to participate or not to participate. Let's remember, consent is always voluntary and can be taken back at any time. This means, even if you decide to enroll and change your mind, you can stop at any point without consequences. The care you are receiving from your doctor will not change because you decide to withdraw from the study. 
Human research is for the benefit of society, but it's firstly important to check if it's right for you. Again, remember to keep a copy of the consent form. Why? The consent form describes not only your rights and obligations as a participant, but also the roles, responsibilities, and obligations of the researchers towards you, the participant. So, hopefully this video has given you a better idea of the consent process. But, if you ever have any questions, remember, the research team is always there to help.